So Dallas loses their first game. That's kind of funny to me as a Giants fan, but I didn't expect it. I thought that they would be a lot more explosive. Now it is week one. They are not going to be clicking on all cylinders. Zeke looked great. I mean, Zeke looked better than he did all year last year. He was bouncing off the tackles. He was running into people. No one could tackle him one-on-one -on -one at all. This is the Zeke that the Cowboys need going forward if they want him to be that top-tier running back. Alden Smith looked great. He looked like 70% of what he used to be, which is amazing and better than anything at least the Giants have <laughs> that I know of right now. Uh, better than a lot of people in the league. Speaking of other pass rushers that are making a resurgence, Leonard Floyd looked pretty good uh, against, by, you know, he was kind of going against a backup, so that's one thing to take note of, but he looked really good, especially at the end of the game. Aaron Donald looked like a, a monster. That's because he is a monster. Three sacks, I mean, that's just, that's just another day at the office for him. He completely controlled that line of scrimmage. People like Skip Bayless love to, I mean, this dude Skip Bayless consistently disrespects Aaron Donald, but he wrecked the game and you lost because of Aaron Donald. Jalen Ramsey was making plays all over the place. Amari Cooper was pretty much neutralized because of him. I was expecting more from CeeDee Lamb and Michael Gallup. Blake Jarwin went out as their first tight end, so that might have had some effect on it. But like I said, I was expecting more from all of these receivers and Tony Pollard. Um, I was just expecting the offense to be a lot more explosive. This makes me think that the Cowboys are back to their old ways of underachieving, no matter who their head coach is, because they still have the same owner. Dak is, I don't know what he's doing if he's just not into it because he didn't get paid, but he doesn't look as sharp as he did last year, at least at the beginning of the season. But this is just a question that we have to ask. Is it the Cowboys underachieving or is it the Rams taking that step up back to being a Super Bowl contender? So we'll find out as this goes along. I mean, we see when the Rams are able to run the ball, this offense is kind of unstoppable. The same thing with Kyle Shanahan. It, it comes from the Mike Shanahan offense that Sean McVay is basically running. Whenever you see a Shanahan offense and they're able to run the ball, it's almost impossible to stop. So are the Rams making that return back to a Super Bowl contender? We'll see as these weeks go on. We'll see if the Cowboys can start clicking. But with the Giants playing tomorrow and a chance to win, wouldn't it be hilarious if the Giants and the Washington football team are the two teams that have W's and the other two teams that people think are world beaters have two L's? But anyway, until next time, listen, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you made it this far. I'm going to be making a lot more NFL reactions, NFL content. But until next time, it's the 546.